What's up guys, I'm back with Carlos again with another video here. So in today's comparison, we're comparing the two flagships that were just released uh, not too long ago, about a month ago in October. On my left, uh, I have the Google Pixel 4 XL. And on my right, I have the OnePlus 7T. And I have the white panda version that a lot of people are calling. White and black with an orange accent button. The two rear cameras in the back and the Google G logo on the back. On the OnePlus, I uh, got the Nebula Blue with three cameras. And pretty much they're both the same on the top. Not much of a difference. The bottom is almost the same, except this one has the uh, ejector tool on the bottom, and this one has the, I believe one of them is for a speaker and the other one for a microphone. Uh, this this both of these phones use um, uh, front facing stereo speakers, and I just noticed something on this device. Sorry, I dropped the camera. <laughs> I just noticed something on the OnePlus 7T. Uh, it looks like a... Is that a scratch? Are you guys seeing that? Oh, yeah. It is, it's okay, though. It's a, it's a screen protector. So, you know what? I'm just going to take it off in front of camera. And I'll just buy a... I'll just have to buy one online. Anyways, uh, both of these devices are running Snapdragon 855, except this one has an 855 Plus, um, 8 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage for both. Uh, there is a huge fi uh, price difference though. This one is come you can buy it for $599, and this one. $9.99, <laughs> $9.99, kind of pricey. Uh, what you're getting with both of these devices are almost the same thing, uh, except I really like uh, Google's stock Android experience. Uh, to me, it's way better than Oxygen OS, uh, in, my, uh, in my own personal opinion. Uh, but uh, today, what we're going to be doing, the purpose of this video is to show you guys the the speed comparison in which apps open and tell you guys a little bit about my experience on both of these devices. So that's why I have installed the same wallpaper. On the OnePlus 7T, I have the Nova Launcher um, installed on here. Uh, and then I side downloaded the Google um, News, Google Feed on the right. That's just my way, I, that's the way I, I set up my phones. And both of these phones are in dark mode. That's just the way I do it, that's just, that's 100% me. Now my SIM card is on the one, on the, um, excuse me, the Google Pixel 4 XL. Um, I just, I love Pixel phones, I'm not gonna lie. So, all right, let's get started with the video. So first, let's open up uh, Lyft. Faster on the Google Pixel 4, Amazon. Hmm, I would say about the same, but US are the judge. Let me know. Fleet. Uh, looks like uh, the uh, Google Pixel is faster. eBay. OnePlus is faster. Messenger. Say about the same. Facebook, oh, that's not fair. That was not fair. I didn't realize I had two Facebooks on my thing. Uh, what's up? Faster on both, about the same. Bank of America, hmm, the OnePlus 7T, I think. Now, one thing I do want to mention, the, one, the Bank of America app, Still does not support facial recognition. And of course the OnePlus 7T has the fingerprint scanner. Charge point. Faster on the Google Pixel 4 XL. YouTube. 
faster on the OnePlus 7T. Now let's go with Hulu. I think it's faster on the OnePlus on the Google Pixel 4 XL. Sonos. Definitely the one with the Google. First student connect. That's why I work for. Faster on the Google Pixel 4. Live 360. Faster on this, but this one is set up. The other one is not set up. So, Fandango now. Hmm. That was close. I think both of them are the same. Now, let's do a phone dialer. Faster on the OnePlus 7. And let me tell you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but this has a deeper black than this. So, that's nice. Uh, messages. All right, about the same. Play Store. Way faster on the OnePlus 7. Chrome. Way past, way faster on the Google Pixel 4. Camera. All right, OnePlus 7, I think, barely beat it. And last one I, got, I want to do is Asphalt 9. It's a game. Let's see which one of these beats. Looks like the OnePlus 7 is winning. Let's see. Yep, it won. Just by a little bit, though. All right. So now you now we tested out. Uh, it was about the same. I think the Google Pixel 4 XL is a little faster. Now let's test out the RAM. Now both of these are rocking uh, the latest Google Android 10 version 10 so let's open up lift see who's in the RAM then they both got refreshed there Amazon looks like both of them got a refresh oh mine they're still not opening up Wow, this is bad for both. <laughs> uh, Fleet, they were both still on RAM. eBay, this is, wait, did I not open eBay? I guess I didn't open eBay. Anyways, let's try both of these. Uh, looks like eBay, uh, the OnePlus, I mean, the Google Pixel 4 was refreshed and then that one wasn't. Facebook. Uh, looks like both of them were open. So that's good. Uh, WhatsApp. The. Google Pixel got refresh. Now let's go with the uh, Hulu. Why are these not the same? Is it me or what? Oh, there it is. All right, Hulu. Well, the Google Pixel 4 XL got refreshed. The OnePlus 7T did not. Let's go with the Bank of America. That one was in, in there. This one got refreshed. Right now, I think the OnePlus 7T is doing way better than the Google Pixel 4. That one got refreshed. This one did not. Let's see. YouTube. Oh, Google Pixel 4 sucks. With RAM. Come on, Google. Let's go with Sonos. Okay, both of them were in the RAM. That's good. But I've noticed I am getting more refreshes from uh, First Student Connect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Again, Google Pixel 4. They need better RAM. Or if that could be fixed with the software update. Oh, my. But this one's kind of understandable because it, it tracks your loved ones. So it kind of understands the fact that if they move, uh, then it kind of has to refresh. But this person's not moving. So, all right. We're almost there. Let's see. We Fandango now. Okay, both of them are on RAM. Now it's phone dialer. I think they both got refresh. USB the judge. And messages. Mm, I think they both got refresh. Google Play Store. Cool, they're both on RAM. Google Chrome. Uh faster on the this one, the OnePlus 7T. But I think they both got refresh if I'm not mistaken. Camera. Camera was open. And lastly, Asphalt 9. Let's see if this if it's still on open on RAM. Yeah, this one was. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, as you can see, the OnePlus 7T for $599, you can get more money to your value. Uh, because the Google Pixel 4 RAM sucks. It does not keep anything open. Uh, well, it, barely anything. Uh, but as far as, I mean, they both have 90 hertz re refresh uh, display on both. Um, and this one I did force it because this one with 75%, if you have the brightness at 75%, then you will get the 90 hertz refresh. The OnePlus 7T, it runs 90 hertz refresh all the time. So again, and then this one with the OnePlus 7T, you get a, a ultra wide camera, whereas to the other one, you don't. Now, I want to do like a little comparison about the camera quality. Uh, let me tell you, I took a picture just now just to show you guys. And in both of these pictures, the same thing. The, I took a picture of the Bitcoin. And the photo that comes through to life with, the, with my hand color is the Google Pixel 4. The OnePlus 7T it looks too yellowish. Like my hand is not that yellow. And this one is like true, true to life hand color. Uh, that's just one comparison. I'm not going to go too deep into that. But it's not bad. Like the cameras you get for, for $5.99 with ultra wide and night mode. I mean, OnePlus 7T is catching up. Now, I do want to talk about something that most people don't. Uh, most people I talk to, I know of, don't like phones that are not recognized as brain wise and a lot of people don't know about the company oneplus and they say oh that's not good and so they might go for something with google because they know google and to but i'm just letting you guys know what people are telling me what people think of most people i know don't even know that the company oneplus exists in the real world uh, so that's the reason why, but both of these phones, they're great phones, except this one's cheaper. Uh, this one, I believe is going to go down for uh, black Friday. It's going to be down to, it's going to go down $200 to, it's by, it, by, uh, so instead of paying $799, that OnePlus, I'm sorry, the Google Pixel 4 small one is going to cost six, wait, it's $799, so it's $599, what it's, what it's going to cost, uh, $699 for if you want to go for the 128 gig variants. Uh, now, I do think that Google Pixel 4 could have pushed the limit. They could have went with the bigger screen. They could have went with the bigger battery, bigger RAM, more storage. But they stuck with 64 gigs of RAM. And that pushes back a lot of people. Uh, but here I am. I mean, I, I'm a Google Pixel 4 lover. And that's why I have this. 
Anyways, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.